Hello YouTube, my name is Nathan and you already know I'm hungry so today we're gonna make one of my personal favourite dishes a butter chicken Hi, it's uh, Editor Nathan here I know I'm gonna get someone in the comments Pronounce your T's Butter chicken Throughout this you're gonna hear butter chicken Get over it Okay, that's the video all right, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is marinate your chicken. I'd also just like to point out, in no way whatsoever is this a traditional recipe. I am making this up as I go along from what I have done previously for myself. One day, I'll go visit Kruti's mom and she'll teach me herself the proper way. For now, this is Nathan's way. But I am very excited to learn the traditional proper ways when I do go visit Kruti's family and they're gonna teach me all the delicious proper Indian food. Now to the chicken, we're gonna add some plain natural yogurt, some garam masala, some turmeric powder, ground cumin, chili powder, and a little bit of mild Madras curry powder. We're gonna mix it all together. Once this marinates, we can now move on to chopping one large onion. Try, try not to cut yourself. All right, let's move on to cooking this now. Get your pan nice and hot and add a generous amount of neutral oil. Once your oil is nice and hot, you're gonna add all your chicken and don't touch it, just let it brown on one side. Once you've browned it on one side, you can then flip it, move it around and cook it on all sides. Once your chicken's cooked on all sides, you're then gonna remove the chicken into a separate container and add those onions in. Sweat those onions down with a knob of butter and let it cook down until they're nice and translucent. This is gonna take about five to 10 minutes. Once your onions are cooked, add two tablespoons of tomato puree and cook that out with the butter and the onions. You might wanna add a little bit more butter to this just to loosen it up a little bit. Once you've cooked out the bitterness and the tomato puree, add the chicken back in along with any of the resting juices that have just come from it and also add any of the excess marinating yogurt back into the pan as that's where all the flavors are and we wanna lock it back in. Once you've added your chicken back in, you're gonna add around 150 millimeters of double cream and around 200 grams of butter. Yes, this is a lot of fat, but it is called butter chicken. Once it's all incorporated and melted, you're gonna add a lid and let this simmer for around 30 minutes. Basically, I forgot to do some filming. I got distracted and started watching TikTok for the last hour. Uh, I made some rice in a rice cooker. It's the best thing that has been purchased this year in this household, hands down. No longer boiling rice. Get yourself a rice cooker. Just do it. I think this was 20 quid. It's the cheap one. The butter chicken is looking delicious. Um, don't worry if it's a little bit split. That's just because the amount of fat that's in it. If you are worried about it being a little bit split, add a little bit of cold water and just mix that in. Hopefully that should emulsify it. Like I said, this is not a traditional butter chicken by any means. I just like this because it's quick and easy. And it tastes good. And at the end of the day, I want to eat some tasty food. I'd just like to ask, if you're not already subscribed, do subscribe. And if you got this far in the video, please give it a like. Obviously you can't have a curry without a beer, so crack open a cold one. Or, you know, a soft drink if you don't drink, because, you know, that's completely okay. And, uh, yeah, you could enjoy this with rice, with a roti, with a naan, however you fancy. I'm going to tuck in with a spoon, with this rice and this curry. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments section what I should make for Friday's video. I think I'm going to do one for Friday. And, uh, yeah, appreciate all the love. And sorry I've not been so consistent lately. I've just been kind of busy with some off time and some other bits as well i've got a really cool little project in the pipeline so i'm excited to share that with you guys soon and uh yeah i think we should tuck into this i'm well happy with that it's an 8.5 out of 10 i'm very happy with that guys thank you very much for watching if you did like this video i'd really appreciate a like share it with a friend let them know i've uploaded because obviously you know sometimes the notifications don't always come through and i appreciate everyone that does watch the videos even if you don't like it I appreciate every single one of you. So thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video.